it's Saturday, uh, Saturday evening. I was gonna go to the gym tonight, and then tomorrow, cryotherapy. Uh, but, I stumbled this, well, I guess late this morning, in my kitchen, and as I'm prone to do, I'm good at falling down, but I'm also good at catching myself. Um, although this time I caught myself on my countertop via my ribs. So I basically, not basically, I fell into my countertop uh, and banged at my ribs. Uh, seems to be a trend of mine. Three times now I've ran into a countertop like I'm trying to break it, but I'm using my ribs to do it. Anyway, my rib cage is uh, on my left side. It's pretty, it hurts. Uh, I'm not going to be able to hit the gym. There's no way. Uh, just cert just moving, doing crunches, like not crunches, but like moving my upper body and my torso just to like get out of a chair or even a deep breath. Uh, hurts my ribs right now so the gym is out however um, I'm still due to go to cryotherapy tomorrow uh, so we'll see how I react with regard to cryotherapy's ability to rehabilitate injury right like I mentioned my knee felt better after uh, having it done um, I'm hoping that it speeds the recovery of whatever is going on I don't know if I bruised uh, the, the last time I busted my ribs on a uh, countertop I bruised uh, my the nerves that go around your girdle like around the rib cage I bruised them along with the musculature and the cartilage so it took a little while to heal, or at least for me to get back in workout shape. So I hope I didn't do that again. But again, like I said, this will be a good test for the cryo to see if it, what happens. I have no idea if anything will happen, good, bad, or indifferent. So that's what's going on on this vlog, which is number three. I was looking forward to hitting the gym tonight because I went for cryo uh, yesterday. So I wanted to see, I was going to do legs today, tonight. I wanted to see if that muscle, uh, the mind and muscle connection uh, was present again. But we'll have to wait till next time or until my ribs aren't a mess or hurting me so uh just like i said that's the update and uh, i'll let you know how the cryotherapy goes tomorrow see you in a second all right i am back for my second session of cryotherapy cryotherapy only and as i mentioned a second ago i fell into a countertop and i did this before where i bruised uh some nerves that go around your girdle from the spine around to the sternum. So deep breaths, any kind of crunching movement, anything to do with the core right now, uh, coupled with my spasticity, is killing me. Um, last time, it took me four days of muscle relaxers and bed rest to get over it. Um, muscle relaxers just so my body would stop spazzing out and, and I could sleep. I just pretty much slept it off for four days. But now I'm, I gotta go to work today. It's Super Bowl Sunday, just to give you an idea of when I'm recording this. And what better time to see if the cryotherapy does anything for something like this, where, you know, my, one of my freak little injuries where I bang myself into something that's harder than I am and then suddenly I can't I'm, I'm dysfunctional for three or four days so was he right there that, oh, that hurts oh god all right
I'll report back after I freeze myself here. Oh, God. Damn. This is a late update on uh, the, what I said a second ago where I went to cryotherapy on Super Bowl Sunday. It's now Friday, so it's been five days. And same thing. It took me four days and muscle relaxers to uh, get back to, I'm about maybe 40% right now. I can move around pretty well, um, but I actually had to cancel two cryotherapy appointments this past week because I was stuck in bed. I just couldn't hack it. I couldn't, I didn't feel safe driving, um, could barely walk any Again, like I mentioned, any flexion of my core, I would just double over. I had to call out of work, take sick days. Um, I gotta quit banging myself, my ribs in and stuff, man. This is not cool. This is twice now in less than a year. So, two's enough. Um, so I have not been putting this up. Uh, I, the, when I did go to the cryo on Super Bowl Sunday, while I was in there, it felt really good. Um, I it, it, it numbed it. I mean, obviously, it's straight up cold. So, it numbed it excellently. Um, but, within an hour or so, or less, of getting out of the facility and back to real life, and I had to work that day. That was a rough work day. I was on uh, mild muscle relaxers, not the ones that knocked me out, um, to get through my work shift. And then uh, I had my two days off, and then I immediately knew I needed at least two more days. So I called out, and like I said, I canceled the cryo. So I'm going to get back to it. Um, I have, uh, just to give you some idea of what I'm doing, uh, two days from now, today is Friday, so th Sunday, I got the, I'm got i going to the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert in, in Philly. Um, so we'll see how... My yeah, hopefully my ribs will be almost a hundred percent by then because I could get pretty chaotic. At least I hope it. I hope it does. Uh, and then I got. Uh, I have to see the doctor on Monday fortuitously enough, and he's probably going to <laughs> say something like deja vu, or he's not going to believe me. Uh, although, if you see the bruise that's on my ribs, it's not that big, so I don't think there's a break or a crack, but there's a pretty good, it, it's, it's bruised. So the cryo is on hold, at least until Monday, uh, this coming Monday. So I'll get back to you. So, for now, that's it. See ya.